My name is Ross Arnold. I have been donating blood for several years now. I just, I utilize the blood donor app that the American Red Cross uses and just search in my area for available donation sites. I think I've done probably four. It, they make it very easy. Right now, I am in the Bush Campus Center here on the campus of Pennsylvania College of Technology in Williamsport. When I signed up for this location, I was very concerned about the parking availability due to me never having been on the campus, but um, they have the roads leading into the campus very well marked. They have signs to state where the, the lo uh, location for parking is. It's a very big lot. Nobody will give you any trouble. Every uh, donation center that I've been to, they've always had very well marked signs around the, the location so that it's not difficult for you to find. So my experience here today was very positive. Um, pretty much they're, they're very um, consistent in how they operate. They take a lot of precautions to make sure that you're safe to donate, that your donation will be safe for um, you know, people that are in need of it, and they're, you know, they're very friendly and they explain everything that they're doing to you the whole time. Um, so yes, I have donated prior to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I think that from a uh, from a safety perspective, as far as the blood donation process itself goes, pretty much all of the same precautions are in place. They make sure that you haven't had any negative exposures, that you haven't had any, um, that there weren't any medications or any other types of things that might put you at risk, either yourself or the, the, the donation that you're giving. Um, they've also done their best and made a, a positive effort to maintain social distancing. If you're interested in doing so, I would highly recommend that you do it. Um, I work as an RN in a, a trauma center, lots of COVID patients, lots of sick people, and there is never a time when we have a surplus of blood. So definitely go out and do it if you're able to. My name is Alicia Kreiner. I am a, I believe it's called a brand ambassador for um, Red Cross and essentially that just means I kind of come fill in wherever they need help. So today I'm working in the canteen handing out snacks and some waters for folks who have just donated. We're on Pentex campus. Uh, there's plenty of signs leading you right to where you need to go to donate. You do not have to be a student. Um, majority of the people I've seen donate today actually were not students. So that's pretty encouraging. Um, I'm glad the community's coming out to help support and you can do that too. I started donating in high school, my dad had multiple myeloma, so it's pretty near and dear to my heart and I've donated pretty consistently since. And there's definitely something scary about them putting a needle in, taking something out of your body, um, but the whole process is normally pretty pain-free and simple, only takes about an hour of your time. So check it out, talk to people who have done it, and don't just write it off just because you might be a little scared or you might not know exactly what all it entails. To encourage people to donate, I would just say that it makes a huge difference in so many lives. Um, before my dad got sick, I had no idea how much blood really it took just for one person. And when you see that firsthand, it's quite astounding to see how big of a difference one hour of your time can make to someone's life. At UPMC, we're pioneering new ways to treat cancer and we're working to prevent it. We're advancing new technology to look more closely at disease and helping you breathe easier. We perform the world's first heart liver transplant and we're experts at keeping your heart beating strong. We're a global team of more than 90,000, advancing care everywhere and delivering it closer to you. UPMC, life-changing medicine.